In this video, I'll demonstrate the use of what we call show value as in a pivot table. Now, I've already created a pivot table. I have it over in sheet two. And to start out simple, I just have our departments in the rows and I grab the ID column because it's a text column. It automatically comes over as count. Now, what I'm going to do is add a second ID column. So it's over here twice, count of ID, count of ID two. On this column, I am going to right click, show value as, and look at all of our choices. Percent of grand total, column total, row. Um, we'll play with a few of these. We probably won't play with all of them or they don't make sense in all cases. So just to keep it simple, let's just do a percent of grand total. So what that's going to show is the accounting department has 67 people. What is our grand total? 530. So it's going to replace that 67 with a percent versus that grand total. So show value as percent of grand total. So accounting is 12.64% of our total number of employees. Finance seems to be the same. IT is 13.4% and sales is 13.96%. Or rather than percentage, maybe we want to see it as a rank. So show values as, and right here, is our largest number one or do we want our smallest to be number one? Let's go ahead and rank it smallest to largest. Now it's asking, what are we? what's this based off of? And of course, what we have is our department here. We don't have any other choices, so we hit OK. And so our largest department is R&D, so that's number one. Sales is number two, three, four, five. Now let's add our office to the columns like this. And we have count of ID, count of ID two for the Dallas, count of ID, ID two for the San Francisco. When we added, we have two fields in the value area. And now we have a column is office, department is rows. Notice it stuck this value up here. I'm gonna move this to the rows area. Here's what that does. It shows our accounting department and our two columns, the administration department and our two columns. On this count of ID, right click, show values as percent of row total. So what this is going to do, let me click on that, is see my row total is now 100%. Basically for the accounting department, 11.9% of all of our accountants are in Dallas. 22% are in San Francisco and Boston, 13, 29. And in total, that equals 100% for each row. Okay, when I right click, show values as, I can say percent of column total. Well, what does that mean? So now for the Dallas office, accounting is 10%. Administration is 13, customer support is six, and the 100% value is down here at the end of the column rather than the row. So that's the difference when we go show value as percent of column total versus percent of row total. So one is saying, hey, across the row equals 100%, which what is the individual percentage of each item? Or across the column is 100% and what's the individual contribution to each item in the column. Let's demonstrate another one. We're going to reach, uh, change our data, but show value as we'll do a difference from and a running total and see what those look like. So let's switch up our data. I'm going to take off uh, the office. We'll just leave the department and we'll put the values up here in the columns. So here we go. I will now right click, we'll show value as, and we'll do this running total thing right here. And basically it goes, well, what are we basing the running total on? It's the department. So we hit OK. And we go 67 plus 41 is 108 plus 27 is 135. And slowly it, it does a running total. Not that it makes much sense in this case, but you see the, you can get the idea of what that's doing. And one more example, if I right click show value as is a difference from, and then it's going to ask, well, what are we doing a difference from? And so this again, probably doesn't make sense in the context of what we're doing, but you can kind of get the idea of what this is about. We're going to choose the base field as department and the base item is the accounting department. 
And so then we'll look, well, how is everybody different than accounting? So when I hit OK, these guys are 26 less. This company or department is 40 less. This is even 28 less, four more than accounting, minus two, 12, and seven. So kind of a cool idea doing these show value as. Obviously, you would want to rename your column each time you change this so that it reflects the kind of data that you're showing. And kind of like pivot tables in general, it's something you have to play with a little bit to understand exactly what each one of these is doing. But you create your pivot table, you add your extra column because it's in that extra column that you're going to do the show values as. And then you make, make your selection at that point. So that is it for the show value as example.